Welcome to this game overview of Monster Highway, a game by One Day West Games. Monster Highway is a dice chucking road building game for 2 to 4 players that plays in approximately 30 minutes. Players are in the midst of a nuclear reaction at a power plant. There, a tiny alligator drank too much of the nuclear juices, which catalyzed a hormonic hypertrophic dihydrotestosteronic reaction within the muscle bellies of the beast. Now there's a steroided up 4 story creature running around smashing roads and teleporting around the place. But the only real question is, who was keeping an alligator at a nuclear power plant in the first place and haven't they watched any monster movies? Players will build roads and race along them to get to their own base first. The player who reaches their base first wins the game. Each player begins the game with 5 road tiles and 1 monster buster tile. The remaining tiles are divided into 2 equal draw piles. Each player also begins the game with their home base, a car, and a player reference card which correlates to their corner of the game board. In the middle of the board, the ground zero tile is placed. This is also where players will place their cars at the start of the game. On a player's turn, they begin by rolling both of these specially made specialty dice. These dice have three facings, road, car, and monster. Players will immediately resolve results for their roll, of which the actions for each set of rolls is shown on the reference card. Let's walk through a couple of examples. A road and the car was rolled in this example. The player would first play one road tile extending off of any open roadway on the board. After that, they roll the car movement die to determine the number of spaces their vehicle will move. Then they will move their car up to that number of spaces. In this example, a double car combination was rolled. The player may move their vehicle to any road space that has been built by following the path of the road. While doing this action, they cannot move past the monster if it's blocking a path, but they may move as far or as near as they wish. In this example, a road and monster combination was rolled. First, a road is placed on any open roadway. Then, a monster card is drawn from the top of the monster deck. These monster cards determine where the monster moves to. After, the card is discarded. Our final example is this double monster combination, which allows the player to move the beast to any space on the board, except ground zero or any home base. After players perform their turn, they draw back up to five road tiles. If the player has already used their monster buster tile, then they may draw back up to maximum of 6 road tiles. There are also a few specialty tiles that spice up the mix. Let's take a look at a few of them. This tile allows the player to swap one road tile for another. If a car or monster is on top of one of the switched road tiles, then the pieces move along with the road. This can occur as long as it doesn't result in a dead end or roadway leading off the board. This tile may only be played if a road was rolled. This radioactive roadway removes the final piece of the highway on any roadway. The road piece is discarded. If there is a car on this tile, it goes back to ground zero. This tile may only be played if a road was rolled. This final example is used to block off a roadway, which turns it into a dead end. This tile is handy when trying to frustrate your opponents. Now we'll go over the consequences of monster teleportation. If the monster lands on a car, that car must return to ground zero. If the monster lands on the end of a roadway, that road tile is destroyed and placed into the discard pile. If any car also happens to be on that space, they know their fate as well. If the monster lands on a road tile that is not at the end of the road, he lands gently and is nice to the road, so it stays intact. And that is Monster Highway. Players run around the board in their little cars, trying to avoid a zappy lizard who put too much radioactive extract in his Wheaties. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you're interested in learning more about this game, check out the links in the description for the publisher, One Day West Games. Thanks for watching.